We lost. True indeed. We lost. Lord, no, we lost. I'm about to say something to make you not like me. You might catch feelings and you might want to fight me. But I don't really care. I'm going to say it anyway. Why most comedic guys seem soft and gay? I'm not saying all but a large amount. Have you ever heard the words that come out of their mouth? Yeah, they cuss like a sailor, but they follow my eye. They carry oaks and wear makeup and thinking it's hot. I think they need to stop. This is a new era. I wonder if the ferrets of a war mascara. It probably was a death mask misunderstood. Don't let the D boys catch them up in the hood. Why NOI? Stop patrolling the block. We get shot by the cops and we calling the cops. Come on, I. Y'all was on another level. The black man was God, the white man, the devil, now the white man. Or better yet, the European and the Mars and the bean pies are sold by Koreans. I'm talking what I'm seeing. I'm just a reporter. How you call a woman to be? And you got a daughter. Talking about the Hebrews that demonize women and choose Esau over brothers and Kim. Probably timid, soft, and scared to fight. Yelling and wearing spikes, trying to fake me out right. But you can't fool me, cause you make a little noise. Cause deep inside, y'all some scared little boys. You really wanna ride and we ain't gonna waste no time today. We ain't gonna waste no time today. Y'all know it's heating up. We go. We gonna call this. We gonna call this a uh, 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 conscious community social media wars. It ain't no war for real. Ain't no war going on outside and none of that, family. How y'all doing? We gonna cut the music. You know what I'm saying? We gonna cut the music, family. I want y'all to share this to every platform. I can't believe. I can't believe that. Did y'all been over there to see us, uh, Sanetta? Did y'all see that garbage? You know what I mean? Did y'all see that garbage over there? He's showing videos, and I'm not defending Inky. I could care less. You know what I'm saying? Um, I could care less, but he's showing videos from like five years ago. And we're talking about molestation that happened two months ago. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, this is ridiculous. We're talking about, we're talking about, check this out. We're talking about him getting with a sister who's a vlogger and get mad when people addressed her on vlogs. Do, do, do you hear what I'm saying? Like, like he's mad because people is addressing Nepal on social media, but she's on social media making content and even defending foul behavior on social media. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. How you going to get mad? That'll be like, like he attacked my wife. And you're going to see in the second half of this show, um, not only did he attack my, uh, my, my wife, but he also attacked uh, uh, children and everything. You know what I mean? He attacked everything. They're not vloggers. <laughs> <coughs> You know what I'm saying? They not vloggers. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And you got people over there. You read in the comment section. You got uh, uh, you got people over there that's like, yeah, that's right, Sha. Dirty Frankie. Uh, uh, stinky Frankie. Or I'm like, you, I, you can't make this stuff up. Like people would really cheerlead for this madness. Let me, I, and I agree with Love Passy. Let me, this is epic. Way better than any movie, Real Life Chronicles of the Conscious Community. That's what we should call it. Chronicles of the Conscious Community. You cannot make this stuff up. And this is why they going to call me Kamikaze Bay. But, un, but different than Kamikaze, I'm going to be the last man standing. Because I'm so solid. I'm so solid. I'm telling you. I'm going to be the last man standing because when I go into the second half of this diatribe, you're going to see, I'm going to lay it all out, family. I'm going to lay it all out. But before I lay it all out, you know what I mean? Before I lay it all out, I got my brother here, a uh, uh, Solomon, to lay it all out. And we're about, we about to, hey, Solomon, <laughs> now, now you uh, uh, demonstrate the, uh, the, 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 the uh, debate league and, um, it's time for you to stop being the nice guy and take the gloves off and call a spade a spade. You have always yeah. been gracious. Even when you was exposing people, you have always showed some sort of sincerity because you cared for the community, not because you was just trying to get some 
popularity off of somebody's plight. You know what I'm saying? But this mm-hmm. ain't the time for that no more. <laughs> this ain't the time for that no more. You know what I'm saying? Because even when Sinetta tried to act like he was exposing you uh, mm. uh, for something that may was that you may have done some years ago or whatever the case. I yeah, don't I was know like 20 years ago. Yeah. I don't know the circumstances behind it. Actually, I didn't see it. I don't really watch that stuff. But, but you know, you still handle it graciously. You know what I'm saying? But this ain't the time for that. <laughs> so I'm going to yield the floor to you, brother. Brother, fill us in. Brother, first of all, I want people to know, and I'm going to say it if you don't say it. First of all, somebody said we're going to lie on Cy. Family, please don't 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 be like Sinetta TV and delete the comments unless they say redundant, ridiculous up over and over. But like this comment, like Jeff Davis, y'all going to lie on Cy? Keep that there so we make sure we show the receipts. And so Jeff Davis won't be no more deaf. He'll be able to hear the truth. You know what I mean? That means so so don't 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 do like they do over there. Don't do like they do over there. Don't just yeah yeah let let it rock let it rock. Yeah yeah. Don't just delete every comment. Please don't do that. You know what I mean? Don't be biased like Sinetta. Every Mm. time somebody was writing a comment over there a few minutes ago, they were saying like, "Man, that's old footage." Delete. Man, man, man. Inky, Inky already talked about that. Delete. Every single time. You know what I'm saying? Um. Mm. So what I'm saying is. We're going to get the superhero music next. But at this point, I'm telling you, it was comments just strolling up there uh, uh, telling Cy how whack it was, what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And not because he didn't have a leg to stand on, but you don't have no new information. Everything that we're talking about just happened within the past 90 days. And he was lying. He was fabricating. You know, so but you know, um, that's ninety days. Yeah, that's like ten years, twenty years ago. He brought up, but but it's all good though because we was going to do that tonight anyway. You know, um, we was going to because in the phone call he actually said that he thought that he was going to hang that over my head, but yeah. So let me Uh, say this, family, on uh uh ten thirty to eleven thirty. This is the Solar Mind Show. He's going to shine some light on you. Then I'm going to go out and I'm going to come back in. And then I'm going to give you what I got. Because we're going all in tonight. It's not a game tonight. It's not a game tonight, family. So y'all going to get y'all, 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 y'all championship music. But this is solar mind demonstration tonight. I mean, uh, he's going to respond. But I, I do need I do need uh, one thing when I share the screen. What you need? When I, um, to, for you to pull up uh, the recording. Cause I have to share the audio, so you just stick around for that. Wait, you have it? Uh, yeah, I have the audio already pulled up. I don't see it. Oh no, no, I'm not sharing it yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so family, I want y'all. I really want y'all to really share this video. This is got. This is going to be epic for real. This is going to be epic for real. Anonymous Hebrew, salute. Listen, anonymous Hebrew. Let me explain something to you. Jaw and Allah is teaming up for this one. <laughs> we gonna take down Satan together. <laughs> now Jaw and Allah is the same thing. I'm just <laughs> the more hey, you know what I, you know what I'm doing right now, Inky. I'm purchasing that uh plane ticket uh for the fifteenth. <laughs> hey, that's right. Jaw and Allah, <laughs> they tag teaming on it. <laughs> Shout out to my Hebrew brothers. <laughs> Y'all ever notice the Hebrews and the Moors never win at each other, man? <laughs> Body more step but where you at? Hey, bro, you sound like you're from Body more for real. Where you at, man? Let me pull up, man. Let's do an interview on the block. You know how we do. You know what I mean? Let's do an interview on the block, man. What up? <laughs> That's right, man. Where you at? What side you on? Is it east side? West side? Uh, throw your guns up. Bah! Throw your guns up. Uh, uh, your, y'all don't know nothing about that. I got a boogie in my nose. Let me thank uh, be a Neil. He said I got a boogie in my nose. You right, brother. I love you. And in and, and, and the words of Inky, Inky said, I'm going to help you get the boogie out your nose. 
You know what I'm saying? And my brother, B. O'Neill TV, said, I got a booger in my nose, and I will be removing it momentarily. Now, momentarily. Did I say that right? I think I did. I'm going to get it out. And you know the funny part about me? People be scared. Oh, yeah, he's going to do all that. People be scared to be like, oh, you got a booger in his nose. You got a booger in his nose. Like, we all have boogers. Like, it's like, you know, I got to take a poop. It act like, oh, you, you're the only one that take a poop. <laughs> Ew, he say he got to take a poop. Like, you you don't poop now. You 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 do some polite stuff and re recycle your poop for energy. I know. So, yeah, I'm going to get this out of my nose, man. You know what I mean? Soon, so the mind line it up and get right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all set, bro. You could just... Uh... I don't see it. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just. Mm. Yeah, the haters don't tell. <laughs> the argument leads. I need a rinse. Let me see, man. Hey, hey, argument lead. You gotta pass the test, man. <laughs> argument lead. Yeah, yeah. That's a member of. That's why. Oh, that's man. Yeah, that's why. Okay, okay, my man. I got you. I got you, bro. You gotta vouch for him or something. You know, you can't come in the hood without a vouch. Look, look. His number. Hey, look. Hey, hey, we winning. Hey, somebody, everybody go over to Sign Letter TV and say, Morris World TV is live. Everybody take a second. Let me show you something. He just had 2,000 people up in there. Let me see something. Oh, he just he just shut down. Man, that was weak. Oh, that was, he shut down. So he Yeah, he's running TV. scared, bro, because he, 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 he shot TV. his little P gun. Hey, hey, he shot his hey, little P hey, gun. Hey, hey, now he's about hey. to get this nuclear assault right now. He shot hey. his P gun. He he oh yeah, so that's all you got. That's all you got on. So hold up, hold up. He says nobody is winning. Oh yeah, we're winning. We're winning. We're gonna tear this down, and we're going to create a space. We're going to create a space where we are able to return to. Um, we're going to create a space where we can return to uh, getting the knowledge again. Well, yeah, I, you know, um, well, the king maker, you know, all this has to happen. What you're seeing oh, right now, all this has yeah, to happen. Yeah, he is live, but the numbers are dwindling. That's why I thought he went out. The numbers is dwindling. I mean, the numbers is dwindling. I thought, listen, when I looked at it a few minutes ago, let me show you, uh, because I'll be following this stuff, right? When I looked at it a minute ago, before I went live, I checked it out, family. There's no doubt about it. And it was 2,000 people in the chat. You know what I mean? It was 2,000 people. Over 20, almost 2,400 people in the chat. You see what happened? They waiting on us. They waiting on us. They waiting us on. Oh, yeah. Now, back to the kingmaker. He says nobody is winning. That's not true. We're going to destroy all of this madness. And then we're going to come back with real teachers. That's what we're about to do. I mean, I'm going to blow my nose, Tamika. I got to talk sometime. Tamika one, thank you, sister. But all of us got some books. I'm going to get it. Family. I'm family. We family. I can get my, get my intro off and then blow my nose. Please work with me. We family. We at the cookout. And we got our little table talking about our family over there right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, how, you know how you do at the big cookout at the family reunion? Girl, I ain't seen her in a long time. Mm, she got a new husband. Yeah, she got a new husband. But that ain't even the one that she had before when we seen her last year. That's like the <laughs> third one. You really, girl? Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, I, and then the brothers over there. Yeah, man. I tried out for the for the Ravens, and you know, uh, 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 them jokers, them jokers ain't let me go up, man. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at him walk up in here. He got a, oh, he got a thick one over there. Yeah, we had to cook out, man. I'm gonna blow my nose. All right, all right. OMB, AKA King, say, man, blow your nose. All right, I'm gonna blow my nose. Let me let my man go. And there you go. Let me move and blow my nose. And let's. Solomon, I got to take it from here. Solomon, I got to blow my nose, man. You know what I mean? I got to blow my nose, man. You know what I mean? Tony Blunt said, I watched Sarnetta. Yeah, yeah, because he, cause he's, 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 he's trying hard. Man, he's, he's trying hard wait right to, now. Wait till, wait till my turn to come after <laughs> yours. You ready, brother? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Did you, you, the you screen got the... share, but you got us on the screen. 
Did you see right now? There you go. Yes, I do. All right. So I, let me I address this. Real my quick, nose, I, man. Yeah. yeah go, go blow your nose. Go blow your nose. Go blow your nose. I love my they love me. They take care. <laughs> so let me address this real quick. Because he's over there lying right now. He he's saying that I had to go to a sex class because I exposed a little girl. This is what he's saying. And this is what you gotta resort to when you have absolutely nothing. Those are decent exposure or exposure charges had nothing to do with a minor. Had nothing to do with me exposing a little girl. I was caught having sex in public. You could look at the charges. Those are misdemeanor charges. So if that had anything to do with a minor, they would be felony charges for one. So anybody with general knowledge of charges would see that that misdemeanor charge is a misdemeanor in decent assault. I mean, um, a decent exposure. So that's a lie. All that shit he's making up. But he has to do that, though. He has to do that. Why? Because one, he's trying to hide what it, we all want to know is what's going on with his main man, Polite. But we're going to break down what the, the series of events that led into this whole melee. Because he already tried to throw that over my head as if I was going to be silent. But you, I'll lay it all on the line because tonight I was going to, I was going to show my, my criminal record anyway. Tonight. But he must have heard about the show and he, and he tried to beat it to the punch. But it's all good because that's all out there. That's all out there. That's, that was all public record anyway. So go ahead and get your one shot because the shit that I got is a fucking nuclear bomb. So we're going to start out with this recording because because this all goes back to that bitch Napa. This goes all back to that bitch Napa. And then y'all know the first time that I came on here, the first time that I came on here, what did I do? I remain vanilla. I didn't say nothing about her. I said we talked for about six months, and then she went on her way, and she did her thing. But see, the problem is, the problem was that she told him and others that I was the only person that she sent pictures to. I was the only person that had some naked pictures of her. But then naked pictures started popping up. Over here and over there. So she tried to put it on me. I told Sarnetta, like, I, ain't, I wasn't the one that sent out those naked pictures. So she must be lying. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, brother. Let me give it the narrative. This is all about her sending a bunch of guys naked pictures. Right, right. No, no, no. What I'm saying is the problem was that the naked pictures started surfacing and you were the culprit to supposedly start spreading it, but she was the one who's spreading her naked pictures out to the people who she felt that she was going to be with or something. Or yeah, because 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 you know it, it's this word on the YouTube streets that she's a pass around. This is what this is what they're calling her. They're calling her well, a if, pass well, around. If, well, if more than one person got naked pictures of her brother. Hey. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying, and this is why she has to try to defend that because she she already said publicly that I had naked pictures of her. So she's trying to put every time a naked picture pops up of her, she's trying to say that I somehow got something to do with it. When I didn't send out one naked picture out of this woman, not one. Well, well so, when you when you came on the show, when you came on the show, um, you wouldn't even speak on it. And matter of fact, when I said. Uh, uh, before the show, I asked you, I said, bro, I say, only thing I want to say, because I don't want to disrespect Nepal, but I say, I got to bring her name up because she's a part of the story. He was like, man, I'm not touching that. And I said, no, I don't mean like that, brother. I'm just going to ask you, do y'all have y'all had a relationship and I'm going to move on. And that's exactly what I did. Fam, hold up. Hold up. Let me pull this out. This is the God's heaven truth. I told Solomon. I said, I got to bring up Nepal. Solomon said, no, nah, uh-uh, I'm not touching that. I said, no, no, because maybe Solomon maybe thought that I was saying I'm going to bring her up and I was going to go in. I said, no, I'm not going to disrespect her. I said, but I have to ask you, were you in a relationship? He said, oh, oh I'll answer that. I said, I'm going to ask you and I'm going to move on. And what did I do? Yeah, you asked me, and I answered it, and we moved on. And I, 
and that's the and that's the truth, family. Mm -hmm. uh, brother wasn't trying to go in on sis at all, at all. You know what I'm saying? And and because of the climate of what was going down, he thought that I was trying to set up some drama to go in on sis. But wasn't nobody trying to go in on sis. I want to make that I want to make that clear. Nobody wanted to go in on sis. But go in, Solomon. Yeah. So. No, uh, I think that, you know, after that stream, he goes to Lex and um, he calls Lex and then he says, yeah, well, I got Solomon's criminal record. You know that, right? Because he knows Lex is going to tell me, you know, and so he's saying, yeah, I got Solomon's criminal as if he was going to dangle that over my head to try to keep me silent. I said, so what? Go ahead and show my criminal record. So this is what we was planning to do tonight. Um, go over the charges that I got. And that's what you could see going back 20 years. I had charges, all different types of charges on my jacket. And this is nothing that um, um, I, I was going to hide or nothing that I was hiding. All this is public record. So from the charges of me threatening um, individuals, I threatened people, kids. That's the first charge that you've seen. I threatened people, kids. You've seen that it was withdrawn in pre preliminary hearing. And I was charged with simple assault terroristic threats i got aggravated assault charges um i shot at people i had um pistol with people i got into fights with police officers that's all what you're seeing on that on on my criminal record that's all on my criminal record and in a decent exposure charge i was having sex in public i got caught having sex in public nothing to do with a minor so him trying to trying to um insinuate that just look at the charges he put the charges on the screen. Look at the charges. Misdemeanor. Look at the charges. They give you they give you the code to the charge. Look up the charge. Nothing involving a minor. So why do he have to lie? It's a question. Why does he relegate it to now lying? Because he don't have a leg to stand on after this. He don't have a leg to stand on after this because that's all that's all what you're going to get, what you got right there with Solomon. But I'm going to play this video right here. And I'm going to go through as the video plays. I'm going to inject as the video plays. Because what you're about to see right now is a man running scared. A man running scared. And I told him about that Nepa, that, 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 that Nepa bitch that he's fucking with. She going to get you in a lot of trouble, bro. So go ahead and have your fun right now with your little with your fabricated stuff that you're trying to say. But the truth always reigns supreme. So let me ask you something, Solomon. Will, uh -huh. you be, will you be going over your criminal record tonight? Because I just got a call that's saying that Sinetta is going over your criminal record. And um, I think it's better to explain uh, uh, from your perspective. But don't let it disturb your presentation. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, you can look at the look at the charges. I don't have it. I don't have it on me now. But um, you can see the charges. He posted all the charges on um, his channel. Right. And when you look at the charges... The charges doesn't warrant what he's saying. Those are those are those are uh, indecent exposure. Nothing involving a minor. Only thing that was involving a minor was my first charge back in 2000, 2004, 2005. And that was because I threatened somebody. And that was thrown out. All that stuff was thrown out in a preliminary hearing. And I got a terroristic threat charge. That was back in 2005. That was me threatening somebody's kids. You know what I'm saying? So um, nothing, nothing sexual involving a minor, no decent exposure. None of that shit ever happened. He's making all that shit up. That particular situation, I was looking for an individual. I couldn't find him. So I went to the place where his kid's at and I called him. And I said, if you don't come, I'm going to do such and such, blah, blah, blah to the kids. I said very, some very nasty things. You know what I'm saying? That if you don't come and he called the police. So that was charged, but it was thrown out. And it was a terroristic threat charge. So that shit that he's showing with indecent exposure, that was just me having sex in public. Like that was like 15 years later. You know what I mean? So he's lying right now. That's a lie. I have absolutely no um problem with talking about the shit that I've done in the past. Why? Because I moved forward. I moved forward <laughs> from what happened to what I was doing and the type of lifestyle I live. Like I said. I shot at people. I pistol whipped people. I got an aggravated assault. I got assault with a deadly weapon. I did all types of shit in my past. That's like 20 years ago. So he's saying that you got unlawful corruption of a minor. What is that? 
That's what he's saying. Let me see if I can. I'm on it. I'm listening to you, and I'm and I'm and I'm. It says unlawful contact communication with a minor, corruption of minors. Um, those 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 were charges. Like I said, those were charges back in 2000. Five that all got dismissed, thrown out. Yeah, it looked like the disposition. Oh my goodness! Hold on, Solomon. Let me do this real quick for the people. Allow me to do this real quick, Solomon. That's mm -hmm. what you need to do, Solomon. Mm -hmm. My apologies, Solomon. I'm not your attorney or nothing. Mm -hmm. I got to do this. I right. got to do this. He's talking about it, but he's not talking about that they were withdrawn. Right, and that's what I was saying. They I mean, yeah, that's Solomon, what I was saying. All that got. Right. got all that got withdrawn in a preliminary hearing when they actually yeah, heard this the testimony. Withdrawn, family. Yeah. Press one if y'all see that. Yeah, yeah, Press and one that, if that's, see the, that. that's exactly is, what I just told you. This is directly from Sinetta TV. Mm -hmm. Press one if you see withdrawn. Press one. See, this is what you got to do, Solomon, to these snakes. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm that's what I'm explaining right now. That's why yeah, I said yeah, it but, was but some. You know what? It, yeah, this is better than your explanation, right? Real talk, my brother. This is better. This is way better than your explanation. Mm -hmm. Now listen, somebody say just because it was withdrawn doesn't mean he ain't do it. That's true. That's true. But the fact remains that it was withdrawn. No, no, withdrawn. Now there's withdrawn a difference between it's a no, 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 no withdrawn. No, no, you got to know. Withdrawn means that it was thrown out after hearing the testimonies. Yeah. Now, now because that's not a plea. That's not what you call. Know. That's not a plea bargain. That's not like a plea. Like I took the lighter, lighter sentence. That's not a plea. That's like after they heard the testimony, they withdrawn that charge. That's what that is. Yeah. So, so you that means hold that. Up, hold up, Solomon. I don't think you need to remix what re, what is withdrawn is. If we're mm. gonna listen, listen. This is the thing. I said about Brother Polite, I said whether he's found innocent or not, to me, he's guilty. So I wouldn't care what happened. To me, he's guilty. But if they're going to go by the public record, then what the public record says is what it is. You can't have it both ways. You can't have it both ways. That's not true. You're not in Philly, Uncle Sug. I love you, brother. But you, that's not true. That's, that's just like in Baltimore, they call something a null process. It's like mm -hmm. in Baltimore, they got something that's probably similar to withdrawing. In Baltimore, it's called a null process. You feel what I'm saying? That means that you can either, you can plead to a lesser charge and they can null process the rest of the charge, or they don't have enough evidence and so they null process. Or they don't feel that they want to read the re use the resources to prosecute and they can all process. Do anybody understand what I'm saying? Press up, press, press one. No process can happen for various reasons. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just know what the paperwork say. And I'm not going to make an assumption off of people saying that it mean this, it mean that. I know I'm going to show my record next show. I know what a null process means. It means that they don't have enough evidence and do. So what they tell you is if, if we null process it and we get more evidence, we can still pursue it. Y'all, any criminals in here? Uncle Sug, are you a criminal, a former criminal brother? You know I love you, brother. Are you a former criminal? Only people who have formerly broken law and was in the judicial system will understand how this works. Anybody? Anybody? So you can't say just because something was withdrawn that it it means what you're saying, because that's not true in law. Right. That's not true in law. It could mean a various of things, as I explained earlier. And, and and so so let's so if you got so if you got so if you have so if you got three penitentiary numbers, sir, you know better, brother. This is personal. This shouldn't be personal because we only want truth, big brother. We only want truth. And you know that 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 in every state there's a different uh, criteria. And in, in Maryland, they call it null process. And I'm going to show my record in a minute and help you understand. Go ahead, man. 
Come on, Shug. Yeah. Come on, Shug. We got to be fair. Even if you don't like somebody, you got to be fair, Shug. I love you, brother, but you got to be fair. So, you know, uh, like I said, that was just what I was talking about, what he's trying to show the the, uh, the charges that was thrown out after the preliminary hearing. Those were threats that was made. Those were threats that was made that eventually got thrown out once everybody uh, stated their case as to what happened in that charge. That was like 20, 2005. That was almost 20 years ago. Right. So, um so yeah, he's trying to now manipulate the charges, and you guys, you, you, you just seen that they were withdrawn. So he's trying to take that charge and then take the charge that happened maybe fifteen years later and amalgamate the two. That wow. charge that I had uh, with a decent exposure, once again, did not involve a minor. It was caught having sex in public, and I got charged for indecent exposure and public lewdness. Hey, that has absolutely like nothing to do I'm with. I'm not defending anybody. I'm only saying what the law says. Stop, stop, bless it. So ain't nothing blessed about you. I'm not defending anybody. The charge was withdrawn. <laughs> Can you read? Come on, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna get down to the source of all this because when you're dealing with this wicked ass nigga, you gotta record the conversations. So I got the conversation record that led up to what you're seeing now. So this was already anticipated. And this is all the shit that has to happen to get to these niggas. Because they're going to try to do all different types of distractions to try to prevent you from focusing on what we need to focus on, which is the right. here and now. That's just 10, 15, 20 years ago. The shit that he's trying to bring up. Is the sound, is the sound sharing? Let me see. You, you, you hear? No, we can't hear. All right, hold on a second. You got to share the sound. Are you, are you, what, let me see what screen you're using. Are you using the middle or are you using the browser? If you share, you got to use the Chrome tab. If you want, yeah, Chrome. I got it. I got it. Oh, we're going to ask that. Uh, motivated Sellers Incorporated TV, save your questions for when he finished. Because, I, you know, I, man, I don't take no sides with anything. I don't I don't take no sides with anything. I really don't. Anybody say that I'm covering for somebody, I don't take sides. I only, if we're going to go by paperwork, then let's go by paperwork. You know what I'm saying? We, we can't interpret things. We can't interpret things to fit our, um, if you will, to fit what I want to say, our anger against somebody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, can you hear the sound? Oh, I know. You been, no, nah, you, you should have immediately said you should have did. Can you hear the sound? Yep, we good. Okay. That's, that's, that was... That was your fault, bro. It still would have been though. No. Nah, you you should have immediately said you should have did like what the white man does. You know, if uh, you know if Walter Cronkite was found being a child molester, then you should have been saying, like, "Well, you know, it's been some allegations on polite, and until you know this is settled, he is um, no longer on this program until that is settled." And it's not a it's not a shot at polite, but we just want to get to the bottom of this. You have to do that. It's a, your responsibility, bro. And especially right. in light of how your platform is formed. And um, the reason why I didn't bank on you is because it's embarrassing to. So this is. This Can y'all? This was a call that happened a couple of days ago. So he calls me, and before I started recording, he calls me with those same threats of like what he's doing right now. And I said, go ahead and show the record. Go ahead and show the record. You're not going to hang that over my head, some shit that I did uh, 20 some years ago. Go ahead and go ahead and do it. But you're not going to lie on me. That's what you're not going to do. You're not going to lie on me. Uh, it's not about polite. It's about the what happened. Everybody, the whole thing is just embarrassing to the conscious community as a whole and that's something to be valued and I don't, I don't think that you really understand that you're you're rolling in that by how you handle the situation 
it, it just shows that you was not really ready for that responsibility, brother. That's what it was showing me. Yo, but um, polite is innocent until proven guilty. I think, I think the motherfucker, <laughs> all this shit don't even sound right, bro. So this is the same nigga that's showing my criminal record and manipulating the charges. But for polite, he's saying he's innocent to prove we're guilty. And you can see my charges. My charges that he, he's putting up on that screen. He's making up shit. He's saying he he's literally lying, saying that I exposed myself to a minor. This is what he's trying to say. There's no charge reflecting that. No charge on there is reflecting that. He's lying about he's lying about uh my charges. He's manipulating. The situation, why? Because he has to do that. He has to do that. What? This stuff don't even sound right, bro. Like what? I think Polite gonna have the last laugh in the end, at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, I, and, and you know, with me personally, I'm not. I mean, you know, with the case in itself, I think that you know, it was two things that kind of made it a complex situation one the statements that you made and then um two you know um it was almost like you was protecting polite in light of the oh. he still is protecting he still is protecting polite and this is all serving as a distraction how you figure that because you didn't handle it in the best interest of the victim and that would be the more responsible way to do it. I think that the way I you... See, I don't see that because I don't see nobody handling it in a, um, a responsible way when it comes to the victim. No, nobody. Yeah, you're right. Nobody is. But see, your platform, bro, and that's the, the thing. Your platform was designed, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's to prevent, present conscious information that could elevate the minds of the people. That's like, you know, the foundation of your platform. So the individuals that's bring, brought on that platform are supposed to be these people that have certain level of information and I hope certain level of integrity and respect and dignity and things of that nature that, well, okay, I could see, for example, Ali Muhammad. Okay, I agree with what Ali Muhammad was saying. So you'll have this information, the contact, and I'll go and join whatever Ali Muhammad's doing or Shaka Atmos. Or Sarasu and Seti. Or polite. So this is how you're tied into it. You're not tied into it. And I think people went overboard with the whole trying to blame you, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, but on me than polite, bro. because because how you handle it, and this is this is how the whole in the black shit started. Because I don't get it. I don't get it. How did I handle it? What are because you talking about? Because when you handle the situation, man, you gotta keep man. in mind. The nigga don't want to take Listen no responsibility. To this, hold up, huh? hold up, hold up, hold up, brother. And I'm not your attorney, I'm not your lawyer, but I'm looking at logic and reason. This brother pulls up something that you was accused of and something that was uh, 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 thrown out or whatever it was. Back in what, 2006 20, 20, or something? Yeah, 2005, yes. 2005. 2005. This guy is not even a month out of seeing his friend being accused of raping a 14 year old and defending and saying that I think polite gonna win. They got sperm, they got everything. He didn't dug up your charges, he didn't dug up my charges, he didn't dug up inky charges, but he ain't dig up nothing on polite to see that they got sperm on the girl. Now, last but not least, last but not least, you telling him the responsible thing to do in this situation. But he gonna vilify you for something you was accused of, not convicted of, in 2006. And if you go over there, and I hope them people will come over here so they can hear this logic. You there trying to really tell him that this is the right thing to do in this situation. But he accused you of something that you wasn't... 
Yeah, so so once again, he don't and, and all this is predicated all the, all this is predicated around him not wanting to take responsibility for what he created. For what he what he aided and abetted, which is polite. You know what I'm saying? So that's the real pedophile that you got to deal with. So all this is a distraction. And all, all I'm saying to him is like, yo, you don't know the severity of the situation and how big your platform is and how influential your platform is. So you have the responsibility to deal with it in that manner. This is a very important um, time for you to now separate yourself from polite. This is what I'm trying to explain to him. What your platform represents. No, but listen, when I first um, spoke on it, what are you saying? I said from the beginning, so my, when I first spoke on it, I said, if Polite did this shit, and I was the first one to say it, and if, he was, if he's found guilty, I said he needs to be locked under the jail with Dr. York. They need to put a bed beside him, and he needs to be right there with Dr. York and throw the key away. I said that, brother. The day that the information leaked, I said that. So when you say the way I handle it, I don't get that. What else can I say that's deeper than that, brother? No, that's what I'm saying. What you're saying. But that's what I'm saying. Well, it should have been more professional, bro. It should have been more professional, bro. Like, it's just as to be like, yo. Like, you got a lot of people watching you, bro. You changed a lot of people's lives, bro. Man, I don't understand. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, This clown, this clown, he don't understand. Y'all should be unsubscribing to his channel right now. He don't understand that the people that you're bringing on to your platform, that you say is supposed to be enlightening the people and uplifting the people, the people that you're bringing on, saying that they are the answer to the problems that's plaguing us as a people, that it's not a responsibility on your part when some serious allegations are being brought up for you to deal with it in a responsible manner. You don't understand that. And just a crazy statement about throwing them under the jail is not sufficient. See, this is what he's trying to avoid right now by lying right now over on his channel. Sit up there lying. You got to lie. But we're going to talk. We're going to tell the truth tonight. I see that you don't really understand the severity of this shit. Like, you changed a lot of people's lives, bro. Like, with information. That's that's big, bro. That's nothing to be played with, bro. This many people got killed over information, bro. That shit is serious. Like, so it's like, yo, like, you... You were supposed to be like, like I said, like the white man. There's allegations, and I would even have a female talking for me in the, in the whole situation. I just said, you know, yeah, this is uh the allegations on polite. And this and that, blah blah blah. And until further notice, he is not allowed on Sound TV until further notice. You know, um, if you want any to know anything about the situation, you contact Polite about the actual situation in itself. But according to reports, it's been said that he's been accused of such and such crime. And um on this platform, we in no way, shape, or form condone any type of acts and blah blah blah. It should have been that type of shit, bro. To show that you were serious about the situation. And um, um, you know, uh, cognizant of a victim being involved in this allegation. But well, look what he resorts to. He resorts to distractions. Instead of taking my advice, he resorts to extractions, manipulating the charges of Solomon. This is what he's resorting to right now, and he's serving as a t uh, a tactic to get you away from the focus of the situation. This, this is recent stuff that you're talking about with this dude that everybody was supporting, that everybody financially supported. He was no scammer. People still supported this man. You still put him on your platform. You brought out the first allegations, uh, Sarnetta. You brought him back on your platform after that. You feel as though that you have absolutely no responsibility in this situation now? You're totally trying to separate yourself from the situation without even letting the people know that you made a mistake, if that's the case? Or is this all part of your little scam that you got going on? That's why you're supposed to be the House of Consciousness spokesperson, brother. Now you're trying to say that I should be the House of Consciousness spokesperson. 
you he's afraid. He's afraid right now. He's afraid about what all what's going to come out. So enjoy now, you know, the, the shit that you're trying to trump up on Sodoma. Enjoy it, because that's all you got, bro. And you got to lie about that shit. No, no, see, see, that's what I'm saying to you. Like, I made plenty of efforts into, you know, seeing if we could kind of, you know, meet. And still doing your thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, still no, no, but I, I, I'm saying, look, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, the reason why I didn't bang on you was because it was embarrassing, bro. The whole thing is embarrassing. You got Tasha K over here. You got Cynthia G over there. You got this person over there. <laughs> Zion Lex is over there. And is I let he thinks that this is a game. He's sitting back laughing. This ain't nothing to be played with. You're making this into a whole drama thing, using this distraction, bringing up people criminal record. You look like J. Edgar Hoover right now, bro. All to try to avoid the elephant in the room. All to try to avoid what we need to be focusing in on. So what's really good? Maybe we scratching the surface of something much deeper. That's going on over there with them niggas. Cause he's running scared right now. He had when he when he seen that you went live, talk about it, he ran and did he ran and went live. <laughs> what what are you scared of, Simon? What are you afraid of, bro? <laughs> he can't go live all night. We yeah, bro. Yeah, it's gonna get out. It's gonna get they watching anyway, bro. They probably going back and forth. That's they probably right. going for your challenge. And when I they probably listen to both. And when I go next. Good. You're not going to get out of this, bro. You're not going to get out of this, bro. So stand like a man and deal with the situation. And it's like, and it's all the people that, in one way, or another, I don't know about Tasha K, but all these people was at some point on your platform. Yeah, not Tasha K, though. Yeah, yeah, excluding Tasha K. So it's like, and I really believe that this is like far as information wise that this is where it's at like far as you know at a point in time you know like with the information and it was really at a point in time that shit is definitely gone now you went into the shithole now you relegated to doing white man tactics now so you're destroying yourself really we could just sit back and watch at this point black thought for real unfiltered black thought and for me to now have to see this shit it's embarrassing so that's why i didn't say nothing about it brother it ain't had nothing to do with what you thought you had on me like i said if you you pull it up and bring it out to the people no i ain't i'm not i ain't got shit on you i wouldn't do no crazy shit like that yeah but yeah you see that he's on record i ain't gonna i ain't got Man, shit you on you run that back yeah let's run that back Cause he know he ain't got I shit ain't on. I ain't got nothing about you. I wouldn't do nothing about you. Shit, Except it's embarrassing. That so that's why I didn't say nothing about it, brother. It ain't had nothing to do with what you thought you had on me. Like I said, if you you pull it up and bring it out to the people. No, I ain't. I'm not, I ain't got shit on you. I wouldn't do no crazy shit like that. Yeah, but I, I'm 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 calling you about. I'm calling. So I let it be known. Cause I I you was talking. I know you was talking to other people and doing all that. Yeah, he know he ain't got shit on me. He know he ain't have shit on me. So that's why he got to lie right now. That's why he's really getting to lying right now. Man, you know I ain't got nothing on you except that withdrawing decent exposure. Man, like, like, come on, bro. Like, like, really, really. Like, you know what I'm saying? So y'all gotta stay focused and just read the charges, bro. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do is read the charges. That wasn't no plea deal. That wasn't no shit that they, that shit was thrown out, bro, after the preliminary hearing. This shit didn't happen. You about your the sister? That's uh, really, I really. She the, really think you did that, man. Really, she really, really, really for real, for real. Um, the the pictures that she sent to me, she sent most of the pics via Facebook, and she blocked me on Facebook, so I don't even have no pictures of her. You know, what I mean, she she blocked the pictures, and uh, the pictures that she sent to my phone that was two phones ago. I don't even know where that phone is at right now. Yeah, so 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 she has to. She has to come. So he knows that Kanath sent it to Shook. He knows that. So why why is that bitch lying there? Yeah, I had pictures of her saggy titties. Oh my goodness. I had pictures 
I didn't of really twer- watch this show tonight. <laughs> I, I had pictures of uh, twerking. Don't even know how to fucking twerk. I had videos of twerking, not knowing how to twerk. Yeah, I had those pics. It wasn't like a... Look, those, those pics, Talker Bay, uh-huh. it was just ego. It wasn't like I was even looking at this shit like you know, on, on, on some freak shit. Right. I, it was like, okay, yeah, she sent me a titty pic. Okay. Okay, she sent me another titty pic. Yeah, send me a titty pic. She don't mind sending titty pics. It took her five days. It took me five days to get my first titty pic from the pot. <laughs> Man, stop. The reason why I had the book is because I got a little cold, fam. <laughs> it took me five days to get my first titty pic from the pot. So it, 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 it ain't hard for me to believe that she sent some titty pics to some other nigga. And I didn't even ask for it. And she she tried to lie. I didn't even ask for the shit. I didn't even ask the first pic. I didn't ask for. Hold on. Can you give us the scenario? You know I like a little jokey joke. What was the yeah. scenario? Well, you yeah, this was we, we <laughs> see some breasts. No, she was like, you know, um, because I was like, I was just like, yo. I'm like, yo, what you look like? I'm like, yeah, what you look like? But I'm like, oh, you know what I mean? Regular, shut up. I'm like, <laughs> what you look like? Yo, I'm like, what you look like? You know what I mean? Because I didn't. <laughs> bro, that's the 14 year old playground scam, bro. Come on, man. When, when, 14, when you 14 year old and you got a little girlfriend, come on. All right, come on, let's go. Yeah, so I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't see her at the time. Because even when she, I met her through an a individual, it was um, her and another sister. They wanted Let to debate. Let me respond to somebody. I don't mean to cut you off. Family, no, this is not about the little girls no more. We're going to get back to that soon. Um, This is about those that's doing distractions. So we're going to respond to the distractions, and we're going to get back to the, the sister. In fact, I'm going to try to make sure that we put something together so we can support the mother and the sister. That's what I'm going to do. And that's the more and that's the more serious issue. So all this yeah. has to happen. But this is, is a I'm, distraction. Yeah, so this is all a distraction. That's and, just, that's address the distraction because right. the only reason they doing this is because we went at polite about the sister Facts. that's 14 year old. You Facts. See what I'm saying? That's Facts. 14 years old. That's what this is all about. So now what we must do is address the distraction and then get back on task of making sure justice is served for this 14-year-old sister and her mother. That's so it. you ain't got to worry about that, whoever's making that comment, because Tarka Bay, you going down there, right? Absolutely. So I'll be down there with Tarka Bay. Turn Bay. up my mic. Let me turn yeah. up my mic. Y'all yeah, good? I'll be down there with Tarka Bay on the 15th. I will yeah. be down there. So we're going to deal with that. We're going to deal with that hands-on. So you ain't got to worry about that. Absolutely. We're going to deal with that hands-on. But this is just a distraction. So when, so when fire comes, you meet it with a greater fire. The That's what you do. God. And you put it out. You know what I'm saying? So back to what I was saying. You know, like, yo, so I just asked for a regular picture to see what she looked like. She sent me this picture. She's in this little bikini type shit. The titties out. And cool. That's about a naked picture every week. Sending me a, a videos of her twerking every week. You know what I'm saying? Nah, she wasn't twerking. Yeah, trying to twerk. Yeah, she was. Nah. she was... Trying to twerk. This shit was horrible. Oh my god, man! Shit was this horrible. Gotta, this has got to stop, man. So this is what he's mad about. That's what he's really mad about. Five days. It was a number of five days. So I know she sent whoever she sent the other shit to. She said, "Yeah, she said she she's very loose with her pics." So she's trying to hide that. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to hide the fact. That she just throwing naked pictures at all different types of niggas she's talking to on, on, on the internet. So this is what this is all about. So I'm calling him like, yo, check your girl, bro. Check your girl, bro. Because I didn't say nothing about her. Y'all know the first time that I came on here. And that probably aggravated him even more. <laughs> that probably aggravated him even more that I took the higher role. Knowing that I got all this shit. She's into that bondage shit, by the way. <laughs> she was gonna tie you up. Yeah, she she no, she was tying herself up on this motherfucker, sending me pics of her tied up and shit to the bed post, shit tied around her mouth and shit like she gagging me, gagging she on some shit. Hollywood though, that's that Hollywood. Yeah, like, she's what, into what that. She was talking about, and I'm looking at the pic like, yo, I'm looking like, damn, this is a little crazy right here. Charlie Hughes is nasty. He's like, she got a she got her OnlyFans. 
Yeah, yeah. So who you stop, man? Yeah, whoever into that bondage shit, yeah, you need to go and check with her. Holly you stop, man. Yeah, that, 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 that tied up wild. shit. Harley, Harley Hughes sound like he from straight down the south. That's somebody wife, Harley Hughes. Come on, brother. And I'm oh, and, and I, I must hope say you this. subscribe. Wait, wait, wait. Harley. I must, I must say this because we're gonna turn up in a minute. Now it was one time, it was one time <laughs> where, and this was after she was with Sinetta, that I came into her one of her chats, one of her chat rooms. So I hit the link. So she sees the link. And she's like, oh, my God. So after the show ended, after the show ended, she brought me up on the, in the chat. So the show was over, and it's almost like the stream yard, so we seeing each other. So I said, she showed me the wedding ring. So I never went. He brought me a wedding ring, blah, 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 blah. So we talking. I'm like, yo, show me, show me, show me them titties for old time's sake. She showed me, she showed me her titties after you brought her that wedding ring, nigga. Huh? She Stop, showed me her that. titties. Show the receipt. After, nah, I'm show, show me. She showed me the titties after you brought her that wedding ring, nigga. Uh, I could be vicious. Let's talk about how you married to that fucking Mexican. Your baby father's a fucking Mexican. Oh. Uh, Let's talk about that. Oh. Uh, listen, family. This show here tonight is not for the children. It's going to turn up. It's not for the children. We're going to get so back I'm, to the children in a little bit. So I'm, I'm I'm trying to have mercy by not even bringing this shit up because I knew it was going to be a distraction. So I'm trying to I'm trying to nip this in the bud behind the scenes, but she's stuck between the rock and a hard place. Why? Because she's lying to you. She don't give a fuck about you, Sinetta. Because if she did, she would have told the truth from the beginning that she said. And it's not a big deal. You saw some titty pics to some other nigga before you met him. Whoop de do. And you know that's why he said what he said on this on on this recording. Yeah, I know you're telling the truth. So why are you letting this bitch manipulate you into doing all this fuck shit? And you're you gonna dig yourself a grave, brother. Dig yourself a grave, brother. Trying to rock out, but we gonna rock out. But out and be honest with you that she sent somebody else's pictures. Cause I didn't send no pictures. I keep asking her though. I keep asking. And, and she, it, it's not a big deal. Like that was some past shit. Don't, but don't bring my name in this shit. That's not cool, bro. Especially after right. I, I made it my duty. Niggas was asking me for the pics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, 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 I wouldn't do no shit like that, bro. I believe you, man. I, you know what I mean? I, I really believe you, man. You sound sincere to me. Yeah. So good. That, 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 that's not cool. And, and that's. And that's the same reason why I was saying, and you wifed her. Knowing that she's sending these pics to other niggas. I know. You wife that. That's your wife. <laughs> Nigga, you need to stick with Cynthia. Cynthia had common sense. When she called me, she said, no, let's squash it. Let's squash the beef. That's, that's, how, that's how somebody that care about you, that's how somebody that care about you will communicate. That ain't what she's doing. She's main, you know, niggas get killed like that in the streets over shit like that. She's trying to maintain a lie for her own little YouTube image, her her social media image. She's holding on to that lie. Yeah, she sent some other niggas them damn pics. They gotta be sending no pics out of of her saggy ass titties. You know what I mean? I'm not going to argue with your wife, bro. Like, you had your wife call me. I'm not going to argue with your wife, but So you in there. You're going to win there. If you, if you want, if you want you to be saying, mine. If you said you've seen a motherfucking tweet, you should tell her, well, you know, uh, I, I did. Nah, I, I heard her energy. I know she was about to go in. I, I didn't want that smoke, bro. So if you want to be soul of mine, yeah, you got to send the queen. The queen to knock me off the piece. I'll let you speak to my fucking son and my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The queen to knock me off the chessboard every time. I'll let you know that. That's the secret. The queen to knock me off the chessboard every time. Because I'm not going to argue with the queen. I respect that. That's what's up, too. I respect that, though. So, 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 well. Uh, and that's a nigga with integrity. See, what you doing now, you got to lie. You got to make shit up. I ain't got to make not a damn thing up. I ain't got to make a damn thing up. All this shit I'm saying is facts. I got to make a damn thing up. You got to make that distraction. Where we go? That, have fun because that's all you got, bro. That's all you got. 
I got a couple of other platforms I'm going on with this shit. Um, no, nah, no, nah, that wasn't me, bro. So, so you got to talk to her, bro. Yeah, I'm going to talk to her. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk to her over there. I've been telling her about going on them fucking shows anyway. I keep telling her she don't fucking... Yeah, so we move forward from that shit. You know, like, yeah. So. You, you always, I mean, you're always standing up, man. That's how we started beefing with the end of black shit. It wasn't about you. It was about polite yeah, scamming this yeah, dude. I always stand up for that nigga. Yeah, you, you go, you, you take the bullets for this nigga, bro. Like, and that's what's going on right now. Trying to serve all, all this serving as a distraction. All this is trying to serve as a distraction from what we need to be focusing in, in on. That's right. You know, yeah, yeah. Y'all should what y'all should have did say, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. When did that happen? Oh, damn, ten years. Look at the charges. Look at the charges. I got absolutely nothing to hide, bro. Nothing to hide about what I did in the past, bro. I came a long way, bro. I tell you that myself, bro. But you're not gonna lie on me. That's what you're not gonna do. You're not gonna lie on me. But let's deal with what's going on right now, bro. Let's deal with what's going on right now. You drugging a little girl in the hotel room? Let's deal with that. And I will be down there on the 15th. We're going to get down to the bottom now. We're going to be up in that courtroom too. Yeah, all that shit's going to come out. So, yeah, go ahead and have some fun now with your lying ass. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's just unfortunate that... That he would even sacrifice a person that's rocking out that hard for him. That just shows his stupidity. And especially in a vulnerable time like this. Because you you was taking bullets. I'm like, look at this nigga doing it again. The same thing, he's doing it again. Why is he arguing with all these people? And it may be because Polite got something on them. Now remember back, it was a while ago. Where, where I think one of the pills came out and they were saying some stuff and all that. And... Polite does a stream like, yeah, he said to Nino Brown, if I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. This is the shit that he was saying. It's to the side of that stream that he did after he exposed the fact that he was messing with that little girl. Yeah, yeah, you could threaten my life in it. So all different types of shit is going on behind the scenes with these niggas. But it's all going to come to light, though. We're going to get down to the bottom of this shit. And you're not going to, because what he tried to do initially, he tried to hold that my record over my head as if that was going to silence me. No, I'm still I'm still banging, bro. And I'm going to keep on going even after this. We're going to get down to the bottom of this, bro. That's not going to work with soul of mine. No. And y'all should be smart enough not to allow this to be a distraction. I don't know why. I'm looking at the whole shit like, damn, this is crazy. Why is this nigga arguing with all these people about some shit that this nigga did? No, I wasn't arguing with nobody about Coach CC. You ain't really here. I was saying, yo, I don't give a fuck what this nigga did with his dick. I wasn't talking about little girl. That That's the way you handle the situation, bro? That's the way you handle the situation? All these allegations is coming out about polite and you say, I don't care about what this man is doing with his dick, bro? That's almost like if it was on CNN. What's the white boy that got caught with this, this sexual harassment charging? That's like CNN coming out like, yeah, we don't care about what Rush Limbaugh is doing with his dick. That's how you're sounding right now. Nigga just irresponsible. He's very immature. He's a liar. And he's a fucking coward. He don't want to look at, he don't want to look polite in his face and separate himself from him. It took polite to cut him off for him to now make the take the position that he's taking now. Polite cut him off. He didn't cut, cut polite off. He went over there trying to beg polite to make a statement. And polite said, no, I'm not, I ain't making no statement. I'm worried about me right now. This is what polite says to him. So polite doesn't give a fuck about what's going on with his platform. And that's when he made the statement. So, so he never cut polite off. Polite cut him the fuck off. So what's really going on in the house of consciousness? Because hmm. Taz, Taz, that nigga, I never even met the nigga, never even spoke to him. And when I first did, the nigga was like, yeah, motherfucker, this, that, that. And that's when I flipped on him. Like, nigga, I don't know you, motherfucker. 
he do, bro. Well, she's down with them. The nigga started talking about it, uh, men's wives. He he come to me and he know I don't it's, fuck it, with that, him. That's what we he, about to do. Yeah, that's yeah. He come to me. To he come to me. Start talking about other people's wives. Bro. Get past that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm skip past. I'm skipping past that. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. He comes to me talking about other people's wives. Talking about Taz's wife. I'm like, yo, you was talking about her first, bro. On the stream, he's talking about all these niggas' criminal records that he got. Including myself. Bring up to Augur Bay. He said he he said he said he was the one that uh you know gave uh Sug the 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 records. This is what he's saying. I don't even know she never spoke to me or none of that. Well, well, you was banging on, but because I think didn't you bring his uh, her up when you was going in on Taz, bro? No, you, you were saying brother, something about his no. wife, brother. You said fuck his no, fuck Taz your wife. Taz banged on me first, brother. I'm just saying that's why she going at you though, because you brought you brought her into it. You said you said fuck your wife. Yo, do you know? You see how when he's caught in his lie, he just move on to the next lie and shit. He did that about five times on this one conversation. No, brother, you're lying. That's like you're lying right now. You was a wicked ass snake ass nigga, bro. You was a wicked ass. You'll stoop to the lowest level, bro. You're a piece of shit. You know, um, I got Taz's whole fucking file. I seen, I seen. It. That's agent shit, bro. That's agent shit, bro. <laughs> that's like, like, yo, that's Jay. I hope y'all, st I hope y'all stick around for 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 part two when I come up. Yeah, I'm that's Jay Edgar Hoover shit right there, bro. Okay, yeah, it's a movement to get down to the bottom of this. And you're gonna send the pictures of Martin Luther King having sex with that? Oh, you're hoping that he's gonna stop? Nah, he, he ain't stopping. Solomon ain't stopping. Ain't nobody stopping. They ain't gonna bring up some shit uh, that I uh, happened in the past. You know what I mean? Now you gotta lie about it. You gotta manipulate it. But the charges says, you know, the charges is the charge. You look at the charges. Go ahead and look at it yourself. Taking one charge and trying to come on, bro. That's not gonna work, bro. Is that all you got? Now you're pulling up everybody's record now. That's, that's not going to get though. you out of this one, that's bro. Good. Because when we because when yeah. we go over his record, that's when it's going to get very interesting. And 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 and, and um let, let it be known that this is a hundred percent transparency right now, bro. That's right, brother. It's that's hundred percent transparency thing. right now, bro. You're not gonna hang, you're not gonna hang that over my head. <laughs> but like I said before, you're not gonna lie on me either. So yeah, 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 go ahead. We got a lot of work to do, bro. <laughs> we got a pending joint on your ass. You got some explaining to do, bro. Kamikaze style. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, I'll give this to, um, um, because they about to go into the part where you you actually wanted to uh, break down. So he actually began to talk about Taharka Bay and his situation yeah. and how he got his records. He, he literally was sending people's records to other individuals yeah because he's a fucking coward so he tried to he, he first tried to operate behind the scenes sending people's records to other people behind the scenes we're going to show that in a because he's a snake ass nigga and all this all this is from all this from the artist is centered from two things one the fact that all this shit is coming out now about polite. And two, that tramp ass bitch that he's messing with. Oh my goodness. Was sending her titty pics and naked pics of herself around all of YouTube and shit. You gotta deal with that, bro. Mm. Mm. We about to get busy, man. I ain't gonna sleep tonight. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. Hey, family, let me ask y'all a question. Y'all ready to get busy? Press one if y'all ready to get busy. You good, Solomon? You yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Do your thing. Bro. Come back for a part two. <laughs> you want to review that <laughs> video and come back for a part two? Hey, man. Yeah, yeah. It's on the popping now, bro. Now listen. Now listen, family. 
1391 in here right now. I'm about to come out. I'm going to shut this down. All right. And then I'm going to come back in. All right. Solomon can come back in. Inky can come in. I don't want this to be long because I want it to be strong. And when it's going up to three and four hours like the, like that, what will happen is people won't get the real essence of what's being said. So we want to make sure that this is received properly. And this time frame right here, hour and 10 minutes, is perfect. Now. Yeah, like I said, like I said, crypto uh, now makes it, yeah. Yeah, she, 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 she admitted this uh, countless of times. I ain't, I ain't got to lie about that. But so listen, in 15 minutes, I need y'all back here because now it's my turn. And Inky is going to follow up. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. Inky, are you in the building? Inky, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Inky, are you ready? Hey, I'll be that more you're going to remember. That's all you're going to get right now, family. <laughs> so we're going to go out and we're going to come back in. And now it's going to get cooking some more. Man, thanks, Solomon, for cooking. Now we about to cook some more. All right? So I need 15 minutes to load it up. And we're going to cook some more. It is what it is. Peace and love, family. We about to cook. This is we only the beginning. Tonight. We're gonna get down to we're gonna we're gonna expose Sidenetta for the wickedness that he's doing, and we're gonna expose listen, that wicked listen. bitch in her titties. Shout out, shout out to my brother Sug. That's still my man. I don't know what y'all going through. I'm I'm gonna call I'm gonna call Sug. I'm yeah, gonna call that's Sug. my man. But I mean, he is my man. I can see one thing about no, me, no, he has every I, right I, to I'm say what, person, whatever he's saying. You know like what I mean? This. If you my man, you my man. He haven't done nothing to me. I don't understand y'all beef. That's y'all beef. It no, is I, I, it's, it's not a beef with Sook. I think he's seen some charges. He he want me to explain what the situation but, is. But do y'all have a beef? Uh, I don't have a beef with Sook. Sook should have hit your line or find your line or something. You know, Sook is Sook. I I Sook. I, I, I call Sook. I call Sook. No, but I'm saying though, we need to start calling people line. Yo, yo, what's up with that skin charge? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, ain't no skin charge, man. Hold up, man. Still out, bro. I got no skin charge. That's how we used to curve. Back in the day, we asked you straight up, man. Man, you a tree jumper? You drop tree? What you doing? Or if you was a little with the rainbow crew in my hood, we said, man, you a tree hugger? Man, yo, a tree. Hey, yo, you a tree hugger? I mean, if you is, keep that over there. I mean, we need to start picking up the phone and calling each other, man. I mean, come on, man. We got to pick up the phone and call each other. Yeah, unless, we we, pick unless we got real internet beef and we can't do that. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, family, I'll be right back in a few minutes. Family. Right, right. Shout right. out to Nepal Saggy ass cities. <laughs> this guy stopped, man. Peace <laughs> and love. Body more step, but we be back. We be back in a minute.